Okay, I want to okay, I want to show you this. So, what we're doing here, what I had to do was uh these rails right here, these long ones here that go up and down. There's four of them. There's one here and one back there and one here in the front. These two back ones here, I had to move them forward a little bit like about that much, right? So that um some of our equipment that goes in this rack would fit. And uh, now I got a problem down here where I got this uh, shelf here, which um, needs to be shortened up, but uh, can't get it out of the rack. So I'm, um, I'm, short, I'm, I'm undoing the screws that keep it in place. Sounds like there's somebody in here. What the fuck? I'm in here all alone, and I hear doors opening and closing over there. Um, that that keep these two pieces together right here. I'm undoing these screws right here. They don't have any heads. I don't know if you can see this. You can barely see it a little bit there. They don't have any heads, which you can use like a flat head or a, a Phillips head screwdriver with. They're flat. They're completely flat. So on the other side, there's some nuts, which I'm trying to undo here with these pliers because I don't have a, like a socket or anything that'll fit down there. And uh, so I could squeeze this drawer a little shorter and get it uh, the same size as the size I just set these rails for. So I'm going to set this thing over here and you're going to watch me while I do this. Well, while I finish it up at least because I've gotten that thing hanging down there now so you'll, you'll see the rest of the process. I could just get this to sit some way where it'll be where we can see everything. Let's try this. All right, I figured oh, I got it. There it is. Okay. All right. thing going here. So, so far I've got these two in the center right here already done. They're uh, the two on the top. Now i got to do the two on the sides here. I've got, I'm doing this side now. The other side over there, I haven't even done that one yet. So let's get this shit loosened up here. You see, I can't pull this out and do it because it's too wide. And it won't turn enough so that I could just pull one side out and another from back here. So we gotta do this all crazy like like this. This is the kind of shit I get paid to do. I'm telling you, man, it's a good life being a fucking server ad, man. Okay, we'll just set that nut right down there for now because this is going to be pretty hard to do. Okay, 
Now I've gotten the nuts loose enough so that I can now squeeze this shelf in so that it'll fit with these rails. I'm going to go ahead and do that now from this side. And then they have to be, oh shit, they're not, not loose enough, huh? <sighs> nope, damn. No, damn. That's in as close as far as it can go in. Damn. That's a bitch. I gotta take them all the way out now. Good thing there's no holes in this floor. I was watching a show on TV the other day and they were standing over this grate with fucking holes in the floor and almost dropped something through. Would have been some bad news, man. Maybe I had to go down there and fish it out. And it was fish they were fucking with. Alright, here we go. This is how you do it, man. When you're when you're a one man band, and you don't got nobody to help you do this shit. You just gotta figure something like this out. Okay. Now they can retract a little bit now, but not enough because now the top ones are. Oh, we got pieces falling everywhere out. Okay, this right here is what I just undid the screws on the side for. This piece right here goes in between these two up here. Now, these top headless screws got to come out all the way because the slots are too short and I need enough room to slide this thing back a little more inside of itself so it'll fit with as far as I've shortened this thing up. So, now everything's out, all screws are out, there it is. Now it fits perfectly within the space of the two rails, yet it's not secure, because this isn't installed, or those other two screws. So, to make the installation, the reinstallation of that a little less hard to do. Uh, I'm going to lightly attach this shelf to the rails. by lightly is I will screw them in but not very tight.
tell me this thing won't retract far enough. Oh, yes, it will. Okay. Whoo, man. See, the reason we we're doing this is because we had to readjust this whole, the, all these rails today because we got some equipment that won't fit in here. And uh, then that meant that the shelves needed to be adjusted. The adjustable shelves need to be adjusted to be shorter for the, sh for the short, uh, shorter distance of the, where the rails are separated at. Okay, it is lightly screwed in now. Not all the way, not permanently, not yet because we still have these headless screws to install. Which can only be installed by the nut. Which is nuts. Leave that space there for one. Okay, let's see. Where'd they all go? This isn't good, people. Where did they all go? Oh, there they are. Whew, man. Okay. My pliers. I know if, if a proper IT guy would have the right tools, but I was in a hurry. I was in a rush to get the, pick the tools, and I just picked up what was closest by.
Okay, on this one here, the, the bolt won't go all the way to where it'll get tight on the screw for some reason. Won't go past right here. See? It won't go past this spot right here. I think we're going to have to use an alternate nut and bolt for now. I've taken way too long to try to get this one bolt to work and it won't work. So, moving on to the alternate one. Plus, these ones actually have screw heads, so they're a whole lot easier to use.
The new driver is too large to fit in there. Okay, got that. Okay. Now to get this thing out of here. So what we're going to do is replace these headless screws with screws that actually have heads on them. Makes them a whole lot easier to unscrew and unscrew. Out of all this stuff, this shelf right here is the only shelf that has headless screws. It's completely flat on top. Nothing else in here had, had a, a, a something like that. And there's a lot of stuff in here. On the bottom here we got a UPS. Above that we got a surge protector. Right here we got this shelf I've been working with. Next thing we got is uh, the server. Next thing there is a sh is another shelf. Next thing there is another shelf. After that, it's a tape drive. Then we get the monitor. Then we got another shelf and then another shelf and then a, a, a switch and a cable manager up there on the top. So it's it's pretty crazy. Out of all that stuff, seem to grab the wrong bolt for this nut screw here. There we go. Come on. started now. Okay. One more on the other side. I'll start to do the rest of the stuff here. Before I go over there, I'm going to just put the, let the rest of these front screws in that hold it in place here. This shelf does not come out. These ones do. Ooh, shouldn't move that too fast to screw up here.
put the back screws in to hold that thing in place. Now we're going to put the last side screw in to keep these two pieces together here to give it some support for the shelf. Okay, it's all fixed up and in place now. All adjusted. Now we're gonna put the, pick these shitty headless screws up here is what we're gonna do. Pick this up, put this back where it was. It's on that shelf. these were for. Oh, I know what these are for. These are for the back arms that support putting these on here, what we're going to do next. Right here, we've got three sets of them there. We should. Oh, look. Just realized we forgot to put this on. Well, let's undo these side ones and put it on now. I guess we'll start on this side since we're already over here. And we're not doing that damn headless screws now. It's so much easier to do. It takes less time.
Okay. Now, I'm supposed to have three sets of those back supports, but I'm finding two sets. Well, we can't find it right now, but we'll just do with what we've got for right now. We'll just install these sets right now here.
arm set one installed. Now for the other arm set. We're going to go on this one. Okay, I could not find one screw and bolt for this arm here, but I found it, and we're ready to go. But one thing missing is one set of these for this. I don't know where they are. They're around here somewhere.
shelf still with me? Getting this second shelf installed here. And we'll move it back against the wall here and set the casters, I mean, uh, stabilizers down. I'm telling you, man, this is one of the greatest jobs ever. Not that I would really know, because I haven't really done many other jobs in my life except for this. A few others, which will not be mentioned here. But nothing is cool. Nothing is cool at all. I mean, it, this is like, it's like a dream job to be able to do this for a living. You know? Can you pick up all your tools? Because we are now going to put the panels back on. Alright, that was the side panels. I'll put the front panel on in the back. Front and back doors here. Okay, that's one door. I'll bring you guys over here so you can see what's going on. Alright, so just got this door on over here and I'll go ahead and get the next door here.
just uh, missed the bottom one here. There it is. Missed the positioning of the bottom one in there. So that's that's the back of it there. And then Okay, whew, got it that time. Connect these ground wires. And there it is. Fully put together server. Right there. I'm gonna move this thing back up against the wall over here. So I'll set you right here while you watch me do that. right here they have a very uh, uh, easy topple ability so you really got to be a little bit more careful in what I'm doing when I'm pushing this thing around here. So we'll come up here with our chair and stuff cage and bam sit in there click clicky clicky with the keyboard and mousey 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 and stabilizers are gonna go down now and we are done okay I was using this earlier for the stabilizers and do that, and then we'll be out of here for the evening.
Hey, that's it. Things installed. Ready to go.